Join me as we take a look at how Sigma Excel can make your life very easy through the use of a couple calculators that help you baseline your data. We learned in the materials that if you want to calculate a Sigma level for discrete data, you need three numbers, D, O, and N. N will be the number of units you inspected. In our example, a unit was an individual form, and we are looking at 100 individual forms, so n equals 100. O is an opportunity for a defect to occur in a unit. The material tells us that each form has 10 fields, each of which could be a potential defect opportunity. So each form has up to 10 opportunities per defect. D will be the total number of defects found. Because we are inspecting 100 forms, D could range anywhere from 0 to 1,000. In this case, we said we found 550 defects. So as we go into our calculators, we'll remember these numbers. D is 550, O is 10, and N equals 100. With that, we go to Sigma Excel. From there, it's pretty simple. You're about 12 seconds away from having a Sigma calculation. Simply choose Process Capability, Basic Process Capability Templates, and you'll see there are two Sigma calculators, one for discrete and one for continuous. We have discrete data. We'll select that. I'll make it a little larger for us. In this case, we'll simply put in our numbers. N, in our case, was 100. We inspected 100 forms. D was 550, and O was 10. When you hit Enter, it automatically calculates the process sigma level for you at 1.374. In addition, it gives you a yield of 45%. And if you're interested in DPMO of 550,000, it also calculates that. If you're going to use this calculator, you might want to also be aware of its cousin. If you go to Process Capability, Capability Templates, and choose Process Sigma Level Continuous, you get a different calculator, which I will enlarge for you. You need normal data, and you need continuous data to come to this calculator. In the previous example, we were counting things that was discrete. We didn't qualify to use this. You come here if you have continuous data and normal continuous data. In order to calculate the sigma level here, you will need several numbers. You will need the average or the mean, the standard deviation, and you will also need your upper and lower spec limits. Armed with that information, you type them in. It will automatically calculate the sigma level for you and the yield. But again, the only caution being is that this calculator is only for continuous data that happens to be normal. Those are your two calculators. Have fun using them.